Hello everybody and welcome to week number 14 on music appreciation and music exploration. This week we're going to be talking about just using the grand staff by copying a piece of music and doing it in parallel motion, bass, tra bass clef and treble clef. Now if you scroll down over here to the red letters right here, you'll see on your grand staff page made on finale notepad please copy the song flying in treble clef exactly as it appears and then copy the song underneath in the bass clef remember flying starts on e in the treble clef and it should also start on e in the bass clef now this song uses those five notes that we've been working on for the past few weeks c d e f and g so it starts on the e so you need to find out where those E's are. And I suggest um, going through those um, sheets that I had mentioned to you. Every week I have them here. Treble clef notes and bass clef notes. Use them as references to know where your E's are. All right. And all you got to do is click on them. But let's quickly click on flying just so you can see what it looks like. It will pop up as a PDF page. And it's a very, very simple song. But it's done in the grand staff form. And um, it is only in treble F. As you can see right here, just the treble clef and the bass clef, there's nothing there. Also, when you're copying this down, notice that the time signature is different too. It's in 2 4 time. All right. And it starts on E. So, what you can do is copy this exactly as it's written here onto your finale notepad page, which is already what I have set up. And you can see, let me go ahead and see if I can minimize both of these. You can get them kind of up close. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. Can see a lot of these things. Um, smaller and um, to to work with. You can see them side by side. Okay, so you can see we're flying. And yes, I, I know it is a little bit small. We can make this a little bit bigger. Okay, you see this is on E. And what you would do is you would get this note and find E here and just and copy it exactly the same. All right, on to C and D and I'll just do those first two measures and you can see how these are exactly like that now on the bass clef you need to find where C is and in this case it's in this space right here whoop, that is where C is I'm sorry and we want to make sure that it's whoops let me just go ahead and do that on E okay here's E right here excuse me all right, and then you just copy exactly the same. And you'll notice that they'll be going down parallel motion. The interesting thing is when you play this, you'll it'll sound like two different um, things playing at the same time, but using the same beats. For example, I'll just play these for, oops, let me see if I can move this down. Usually it's easy to move these down. There we go. All right, and if we were to play it through, I purposefully hit the wrong key there, but you can hear how they, on this note right here, how they sound together. You have this one that's dissonant, or this sounds kind of like it's clashy. Should be a C, so I'm going to move this up. But that was a good example of how you can hear both of these happening at the same time. Anyway, your job for the entire week is to get the song completely done. And it's not a long song. And it's not like you have to do it every day. Um, you know, I mean, the complete song, you don't have to do it every day. It's just one time through, all the way bass and treble clef. It just gives you practice working with the grand staff. Plus, if you listen to it, you can hear how the grand staff is used. All right, where you have two different sounds at the same time. Okay, so um, that's it for this week for um, um, your songs and for, excuse me, for your um, weekly rhythm. Um, I know that there's a little bit of a concern about how this is not in sync with pace charts, but we'll get that straightened out. But this is, this is the example for this week. So um, have a good week, and um, we'll be talking to you next week when we get on to week number 15. Thank you.